All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video. All right, y'all, the 1FC main event, Adam Weight Championship. Oh, man. Oh, man. Angela Lee versus Stan Fairtex. Man, um, going into this fight, you know, I picked Stan Fairtex. You know, I was 100% behind her, you know, for, for good reason. You know, she's just been active, she's just been improving. But when it came down to it, you know, um, it was just styles. You know, I think Angela Lee just had everything needed to face off against a fighter like Stan Fairtex and, you know, come out on top. I mean, once you look at her her movement, her fluidity, just her elusiveness as a MMA fighter and just as a grappler, that was going to give somebody like Stan Fairtex problem. I mean, if you look at some of the, fight, the fights in the past with Stan Fairtex, now that I go back and look what happened uh, Friday, uh, Saturday morning, I can say that, okay, I could definitely see why Angela Lee had the edge here. You know, Angela Lee was the type of fighter that was going to push the pace. Like I said in my keys to victory, she needed to push the pace and be raw. You know, um, where a lot of fighters failed in the past against Stan Fairtex was when they gave her range and let her fight in a Muay Thai fight mostly. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, she could get down to the ground and get dirty with you. She could, you know, grapple, but it's mostly like defensive grappling. You know, she could get out of a lot of submission attempts, Stan Fairtex that is. But in this type of fight, she was going to be dealing with somebody putting pressure on, and that was going to be an offensive grappler. You know, um, Angela Lee was going to be coming at her with, you know, all kinds of submission attempts. And that's what she did in this fight. I mean, it was just like another level of grappling that Stan Fairtex never faced before. And um, that's what I saw in Angela Lee is just, you know, she really looked like, you know, an MMA fight, an MMA fighter. You know what I mean? I mean, Stan Fairtex is too, of course, but you could see like just the movement of her body and the way she was pushing this pace, that it was something that Stan Fairtex never faced before. I mean, Stan had some good moments, of course, you know, but overall, it just came down to Angela Lee being much more well-versed on the ground and just, just being way too polished. I mean, two years off didn't even, didn't even, it didn't even factor in. Two years off didn't even factor in. I mean, a couple of the scary moments that happened, they would happen anyway, because that's the type of fighter that Angela Lee is she takes chances you know but she has kind of a uh, reckless moments in the defense situation which I'll talk about here in a minute but overall you know she put on the performance I think that made it look like she never missed a beat I mean the first round Angela Lee she stormed out with a good one too I mean she was storming out she was backing um Stan Fairtex up right away because she didn't want her to get in her stance right she was tagging Stamp and she clinched up Stamp did well you know you know breaking from that first clinch using some knees and elbows but Lee punched her way back in again with some nice right hands uh stamp she was working again in the clinch with some nice knees to the body and then as they separated this is where stamp wanted to be stamp when she got that range she landed a nice calf kick you know to set this beautiful punch up when she landed that calf kick she came with a left hook to the body that just sent angela lee reeling back i mean she had to take it she had to she had to take the back pedal as soon as she got hit uh stamp fairtex went after her and she couldn't finish it. She landed some good shots. I have to give Lee credit here. You know, she came back. Uh, she went in for a takedown. You know, that was an attempt to kind of re recover here. You know, she she held on. And as she recovered, she got a takedown. And she gets the back. Right away, she shows that level of grappling. You know, Stamp did well defending. But Lee, you know, she was pushing that high-paced grappling here. You know, she kept moving. She kept the, she kept uh, transitioning here. Uh, she kept moving the uh, positions. And Stamp, you know, she was really having a tough time. She did well hand-fighting you know hand fighting um to avoid the rear naked choke you know to the end of the round but you could already see that type of pace was going to be a problem especially if she could take stan fair texas best punches but going into that second round man once again angela lee said forget it i'm pushing the pace pushed it right back into a clinch gets the fight down again right away and right here i was like oh man come on stan stan you got to be more quicker on your feet in this fight and that's the thing like she's never really been really quick on her feet i was thinking i was thinking in this fight that Stan Fairtex was going to be uh, controlling the pace, you know, with hard leg kicks, you know, and just picking her shots, you know. But um, I never really was thinking she was going to go in there moving around, bouncing around, like, you know, volume punching, which she probably needed to, needed to do because she got taken down right away. You know, she got taken down. And right, right off top, Lee was just in that side control, controlling with her knees, uh, you know, mauling. Lee was just putting on some different – moves you know she was just transitioning with her from su different submission attempts i mean she went from an arm bar attempt to a triangle um back to an arm bar you know stamp was able to break out of that uh gotta give stamp credit because she was defending a lot of these uh submission attempts but at least she finally gets that back just works with some nice strikes 
almost gets that uh twister she was almost able to get a twister as well but again you know she went back to work when she couldn't get it got the back of stan fairtex um locked it in here you know she, she just pulled her back locked it in with like i think it was maybe like 20 seconds then count down you could hear that clap all she had to do was wait another 10 seconds but she got flattened out yeah because the first rear naked choke i think was on the back but um the second time when she finally got it the final uh transition uh she flattened out stan fairtex yeah she flattened her out belly down and she locked that uh rear naked choke under uh in, under like uh 10 seconds and then stamp had the tap stamp had the tap it was over so man uh yeah shout out to angela lee i mean you know two years out the game came back strong um you know i was counting her out you know but hey that's what happens you know sometimes they like i said if you prove me wrong that means you're doing something right but uh overall i knew it was going to be a competitive fight you know i knew it wasn't going to be like a fight where stamp was going to blast her out you know because i did say like close decision but i also said if it goes to the ground you know what's going to happen angela lee's more likely the fighter that's going to submit stand fair text but yeah man moving forward from here my uh, final thoughts i think that uh angela lee you know um she's definitely shown high levels of grappling here and you know she does does have a few weaknesses here and there and i think the more and more she just you know works on her striking and that pressure you know she'll become more well she is kind of a complete fighter now she is a complete fighter you know because she wouldn't have this belt and she wouldn't be able to do what she did if she wasn't. So she is a complete fighter in the 1FC. But, um, I mean, if she wants to avoid getting hit with those big shots, I say just need to tighten up on her defense, you know, develop a longer jab, you know, throw out that jab, consistent jab, I mean, you know, and just uh, work from there. But um, for Stan Fairtex, going back to what I was saying, like when you compare these two as MMA fighters, like you can see Stan Fairtex still resorting to the traditional Muay Thai fighter at times you know she's just able to control a lot of these other fighters with her striking because you know takedown defense is very solid but the the better the grappler the better the wrestler stronger the wrestler like angela lee was they'll be able to still get you down right and you'll be lost so i think that uh one thing about stamp is that she needs to kind of improve her her stance her footwork for mma because if, yeah again like when you looked at how angela lee was moving you know she was more so um bouncing on her feet uh pushing that pace and you know always keeping her legs moving at an angle where she wouldn't get tagged um and she was just always in a mode to rush and even move back even when she got hurt right so stamp was always there for the clinch you know even though she could get in some knees here and there uh she was always in there for the clinch you know she needed she needs to move around a little bit more and you know she's a small fighter so she should be able to move she's quick so that's something that i think she just needs to develop more into an MMA stance, kind of like Joanna does. You know, Joanna is a Muay Thai fighter. She comes from that background, but I mean, since she transitioned to an MMA striker, she really does have more um, elusiveness to her, you know? So I think that's something that she needs to develop um, if she wants to get back to this top top level. Because if it goes down to the ground again, you know, in a rematch, you can still see Angela Lee winning again. You know, I, like I said, uh, after looking at that performance and just off of the movements, um i'll have to be honest and say angela lee will probably win again you know she probably will win again you know i just had to put those two together and when i saw how they you know when they actually collided it was like oh okay yeah this is why angela lee's gonna win this fight or this is why she did win the fight look at her movement here you know it's giving stamp problems you know she's still not as comfortable at this type of pace right so yeah man shout out to both fighters though. it was a good weekend they showed a you know solid um you know, uh, solid uh, respect, you know, definitely solid respect for each other after at the end of the fight. And, you know, that's what I like to see, you know, after they after they throw down, you know, win or lose, they're, they're, they're both humble in victory and defeat. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all think next from here. I think Angela Lee versus Zoe Hom is a go. I like it. Um, and then maybe we could see uh, Rod Swan versus uh, Stan Fairtex, right? Rod Swan versus Stan Fairtex. Fair, stamp fair text because you know jen Rotswan, that might be a good pressure style for stamp fair text you know after you know facing the loss against uh uh angela lee so yeah guys let me know in the comment section what y'all think combo breaker 99 i am out subscribe peace